What's good, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube? You're back with your boy, the Philly Chef. Hey, I got something delicious on deck today. Um, it's a nice, fresh spin to an old school favorite. So rock with me, I'm about to get these hands right, and then we're about to jump into it. So today's episode is going to be dedicated to my mom. Um, right now, what I'm about to do, I'm taking a lighter, fresher approach of what she used to make. She used to make salmon patties or salmon croquettes or salmon cakes. It's all the same thing. So I'm taking a lighter, fresher approach to this. So I have a fresh salmon I'm about to dice up. I have some peppers and onions I'm about to throw in the skillet and just kind of give it a little quick saute. And then I'm about to add it, put it on top of this BLT salad with these candy pecans. It's about to be delicious. So first thing I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna take my onion and I'm gonna dice it up. And uh, you know, it's just one of those meals that really brings me back home. Uh, makes me think of, you know, when I was a kid, coming home and smelling like the, you know, Patty's cooking, you know, she got a pot of rice on the stove and whatever kind of vegetable she makes that night. And uh, you know, it was just one of those nostalgic type of meals. So, like I said, I'm going to take this onion, I'm going to do a nice little dice of it. So, so, behind me, I have my pot with a little bit of olive oil. And I'm going to take my pepper here and do basically the same thing. And I don't need the whole thing, I don't need the whole onion, I just need enough for some color, some flavor, because truly salmon is the star of this uh, dish right here. And you know, uh, she used to always make it with this uh, can, the pink salmon, and growing up, every time I thought of salmon, I thought of this can, the pink salmon. I didn't know any better, I'm telling you. It wasn't until my palate, you know, really uh, evolved to, you know, liking other things and uh, experiencing other foods so I found out what, you know, salmon really is. And this is my favorite fish. Grill it, smoke it, you know, it's just awesome. So I'm about to take this over here, grill it up a little bit. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Carissa, and I'd like to personally invite you to our Valentine's edition, Friday, February 5th at 7 p.m. As always, we're gonna have great live music. Prolific poets like Reese the Poet. I see you. Mask in the pain that you feel as you walk in them three to nine inch heels, all for the ideal you can steal a man's heart when he is And phenomenal singing like none other than AO Radio. There will never come a day You'll never hear me say. So get your VIP tickets now while they last See you there Alright, so let's say I'm going to throw these in the pan right here We're not really cooking these too much you know, you just want to give them a nice, a nice toss. I'm going to turn the fire off now. So you want to get the onions where they're translucent, where they're really, you know, um, clear. Uh, you want to get the peppers sweated down a little bit. Because this is going into some cold meat, so you don't want the hot vegetables to start cooking to me right away. So now about to work on the star of the show. So right here I have some fresh salmon, nice center piece, the little chunky piece, my favorite piece. So with this I'm about to cut it up, uh, take the skin off and uh, 
add it to the bowl, add everything together, and I don't know, I just, I just had a thought about this. I was like, you know, having the salmon and, uh, you know, salmon croquettes is one, it's just a really good meal. Uh, and I just was like, you know, it's got to be good with the fresh salmon because fresh salmon is, you know, the bomb. So, so I had this idea to do the fresh salmon. So I'm taking the skin off of it and it helps to have a really good knife because this thing is just kind of going through. One second. All right. So now I'm taking the other half off. So after I take the skin off, and we're trying to make sure you get every little piece because everything matters. So now we're going to cut it into big chunks. And you know, just uh, having uh, just an appreciation for salmon, it's just so diverse. I mean, like I said, you can smoke it, you can grill it, uh, you can blacken it. Uh, now I'm making these salmon cakes is another layer, another versatility of this fish. Um, not to mention, I mean, it's just a really good, uh, a good fat fish, you know. So it's just something that just, uh, I don't know. I just, I could, I love salmon. Salmon is great to me. So go ahead and get these. So once they get into nice chunks, now you just take your frustration out of it. You know, trying to keep everything on the board, but just want to get nice mints. get this as small as possible because it's about to get imparted with some breadcrumbs. Um, I have some Creole mustard, some mayonnaise, some fresh garlic, um, then I have some seasonings and I have some capers that's going to go into this. So if you think about it, it's, it's kind of like a uh, crab cake and uh, pretty much the same things that go into a crab cake is going into this. That looks good. So now bring the bowl over. And get all of these. So now, now I have everything in my bowl here. So now I'm about to start building this thing. So I have my sauteed onions and peppers. I have my fresh salmon. To that, I'm going to add a scoop of mayonnaise. So two scoops of mayonnaise, okay? And I have here my capers. I'm gonna use my fork to get my capers because I want to strain some of that juice off of it and just want the, the capers. Oh. I'm going to there's about three things of capers in there. Now I'm about to add my Creole mustard. And it calls for a Dijon mustard uh, in the recipe that I found. But I was like, you know, I'm taking more of a Creole approach to this, more of a New Orleans approach. And Creole mustard, why not? 
you know, you don't always have to go by what the, you know, uh, recipe says. If you like something else, switch it up. You know, call an audible. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this Creole mustard. So now, in here, some onion powder. Thank you, powder. Just a little scoop. All right. And in here, I have some uh, Cajun seasoning. I have some cilantro lime salt, and I have a little accent. Add that. Now, I'm gonna basically eyeball this. Now this is his Ritz crackers. Um, I like the everything crackers because it gives it a little extra flavor. So um, this is this ground up rich crackers. I'm gonna add, I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. Cause like I said, the salmon is the star of the show. So I don't want to over bread it with too much of the crackers, but I want to make sure there's enough in there so that it, it does its job. It gives it, it keeps it together. So now I'm just gonna mix it all up. And you know, I kind of wish my mom was here to kind of taste this and give, give her, you know, critique on it. You know, so being kind of fancy today, mom, you know, with the fresh salmon and all that. But ain't nothing wrong with that pink canned salmon. Make you some croquettes, you know, make you some grits or some rice and go to town. Now, once I mix this all together, this has to chill in the refrigerator for about an hour or so. And then we will be ready to get this popping. All right, so I'll scrape the sides, make sure nothing's left behind, no salmon left behind. Okay, so looks pretty good. Everything's nice and incorporated. So. I'm going to throw this in the refrigerator for about an hour or so. I'm going to patty them up, put them on my cast iron skillet. I can't wait for this one. I'm telling you. So now, star of the show is ready. It's been chilling for about an hour or so. So now I'm gonna patty these up. I have my cast iron skillet here, which is a, a must in any kitchen. Get your cast iron skillet, but make sure you take care of it. Don't throw it in no dishwasher. Don't do none of that other stuff. I got a little tip on how to keep it clean. You gotta stay with me. So, I have my salmon, which I've prepared. Now, I'm going to treat it basically like a hamburger patty. So my skillet is nice and hot. And to that, you ready? Ooh, I love that sound right there. All right, so I'm going to make about two, maybe three more. And then after these get done, I'm going to build this salad. And I'm going to have me a seat and have me something good to eat. Alright, so I have three patties in here. I'm gonna go wash his hands so I can flip them. All right, so my skillet is on about seven, medium high heat. So I don't wanna cook these too fast. 
but I want to make sure I get a nice char on each side. I'm telling you, this is probably like the most anticipated meal that I've fixed in, in a while because this is uh, really good. Alright, so I have my tongs here just as an assistant because I want to make sure this stays together. You see how they work together? Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. Alright, so we're going to do the same thing. And just assist in the flip. Alright. Always gotta be one to break up. Alright, so got one side done. And definitely don't want to dry out your salmon. Dry salmon is an offense. You want to make sure it still stays nice and moist, nice and juicy on the inside, but done. Alright, so, like I said, I'm talking about the salad I'm going to build. It's a BLT salad. I got some cherry tomatoes. I got a spring mix, uh, which has some, you know, um, spinach. I has some arugula. I has some uh, uh, romaine lettuce. So all that mixed together, um, and I have these candy pecans. The candy pecans is a little something that I made. Uh, I'll have the recipe in the link. Uh, it's just, these are a great little snack. Uh, I mean, it's just really simple to make. You can eat those just by themselves. So, and make sure they slide. So these are these are done. So I'm so that's what you're looking for. Nice and done. I'm going to lay here on my wire rack. See. cast iron skillet off the heat. I'm about to build this salad, put this whole thing together. I was kind of torn about what type of dressing for this. I was going to do a little balsamic vinaigrette, and I was like, no, nah, I want something kind of creamy, something, you know, even though it's healthy, I want it to be a little, mm, you know, you know. So I thought about this sweet chili sauce. All right, so this is just your plain ranch dressing that I doctored up. Got a little sweet chili sauce that you find in the international aisle. Uh, added a little bit of the cilantro lime chili uh, salt, a little lemon pepper, a little lime juice, lemon juice, and a little ketchup for a little sweetness. And mix it all together. About to top it on these. It's going to be bananas. All right, so now I'm going to build my salad. So, like I mentioned, I have my spring mix. And 
to that I have my cherry tomatoes. Now with the cherry tomatoes, I'm going to just cut them in half just to kind of open them up. That's all I'm going to do right there. Just a couple of these on top. To me it just makes it easier to pick up with the fork. But then also people eat with their eyes. And it's a little visually appealing. You see the seeds and everything. So yeah, let's get one more in here. So I did say it's a BLT salad. So you can't have a BLT without the B. So to that. I have three strips of thick cut bacon that I cooked in the oven. I have a little tip for that too. You gotta check out one of my videos where I cook my daughter. So I'm just going to roughly break these up over top. And it's nothing fancy. You don't gotta get no chopper. Just get your hands in here and just looks good now my candy pecans pecans I'm gonna finish topping it off with my pecans looks good now the star of the show I'll get the biggest one lay that bad boy right there all right you know what this is my I'm gonna get two Let's do this. All right. So now I'm going to drizzle a little bit of this sweet chili sauce. Oh, look at that. There's nothing like when you think of something and then it comes to fruition and it looks better than you actually imagined it. A little bit more sauce, get a little bit of sauce around there. All right, mom, I hope you're smiling down on me because uh, this thing looks amazing. So, you got your salmon croquettes on top of a BLT salad with candy pecans. So, yeah, I'm about to sit down and enjoy this. Like I always say, filling your belly fills my heart. I love to cook, so I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, YouTube, uh, EB Network, and uh, Facebook, That Philly Chef. Um, I got merch coming soon. Aprons, hats, face masks. Stay protected. Um, have some uh, cutlery coming soon as well. Yeah. Tell you, have a good knife in your arsenal, in your, in your kitchen. You can't go wrong. So, like I said, I'm about to go sit down and enjoy this. Ma, thank you.